Okay, so if a picture is worth a thousand words, then what's the video worth? Now, this is Alan Miller, and this is a Cisco SPA 525G IP phone, and I'm going to do a uh, Wi Fi configuration on this. If the phone's not in factory default state, then we can reset it. The way you do it, the menu button is this second button here. Press this. Brings up the menu on the screen. If you scroll down to number 8, device administration, you can press 8. Then scroll down again. There's an option for factory reset. <clears throat> I'm not going to do this because uh, I don't feel like waiting, but all I have to do is press the check mark button here in the center or press number five, either one, and you'll do a factory reset on the phone. So, press the menu button to clear. Now I'm back at the main screen. Uh, in order to do this, you're going to need a couple pieces of information from your wireless access point. point. Uh, you'll need your security mode. In my case, I'm using WPA Personal. You need the uh, WPA Algorithm, which in my case is AES Encryption and you'll need the WPA shared key. Now, I'm saying WPA, your settings might not be WPA, it might be something else. So, uh, here we go, I'm going to press the menu button. Now scroll down to, what is this, I think it's network configuration number seven, I'm going to press the check mark button. Now, at the top of the screen says Wi-Fi. Uh, and there's a gray block next to it right here. You may not be able to see this, but just trust me. I'm going to press the right side of this wheel. This will put in a blue check mark on Wi Fi um, that's enabled now. Now I want to do configuration. I'm going to press the down area one time. Now I'm highlighted on Wi Fi configuration. I press the check mark. Uh, next screen, I'm highlighted on wireless profile. I'm going to press the check mark again. And it says Cisco Voice. I'm going to use this profile and put in my parameters. So here, the button to the left on the bottom of the screen says Option. I'm going to press that. Scroll down one to select Edit. Press that. Now, uh, security mode says, well, let's see, security mode says disable. I'm going to press to the right. Now it says WEP, WEP, that's not what I want. I want WPA. So now <clears throat> the first WPA is what I'm going to choose. I'm going to scroll down to profile name. I'm going to delete characters just to call this me, and then I'm going to type. M E big deal it doesn't really mean anything it's just cosmetic now I'm going to go down the SSID this is relevant this is the name of your access point so my SSID is A H M okay the cipher type this again, for me, it's not TKIP, it is AES. I press the right arrow, there's AES, and now I go down. This is the key, this is the, the password for my wireless. So my key is a bunch of numbers. I'm not sure I got that right. This is all there, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got that and I'm going to press save. And if this was all entered correctly, I can press the connect button and wait. 
This is why I must be enabled. I must not have enabled it. I thought I did. So press OK. I'll go back. Back. OK. Maybe I need to press set here. Thinking wireless status, is that it? Select. Oh, guess what? I'm connected. I didn't even realize it. Um, the key is at the top of the screen, I have shown some green bars here for single strength. And then to the left of it, I no longer have the red X. Now I have this little graphic, which looks like two bars at uh, right angles to each other. So if I click back, back, back and exit, I have now a good connection again by the signal strength. And that is not everything you need to configure this phone, but that's just the Wi-Fi part. Over and out. It's Alan Miller. My uh, email is uh, support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R, M-A-N-O-R, MillerManor.net. Goodbye.